So Counter-Strike 2 has finally been released and this is basically one of the most anticipated game updates of all time. However, something is missing. There is no Mac port of this game anymore. And if you didn't already know, Counter-Strike 2 is basically an update of CSGO released back in 2012, simultaneously both on Windows and Mac OS. And it's basically one of the most popular games that you can play on a Mac. That is until just a few days ago when Counter-Strike 2 basically replaced CSGO but does not offer a path for Mac players to play anymore because there is no Mac port. So if you try to download this game on a Mac at the moment you're basically going to be downloading the Windows version of the game and it won't launch correctly. And if we look on the FAQ on the Steam website they basically say that no CS2 is not available on the Mac at this time. And crucially Valve don't necessarily rule out having a Mac port of the game in the future. It certainly looks like there might be development of a Mac port if we look at the Steam DB's Mac depots. However, there's no official communication from Valve exactly when this Mac port is going to get released, if it ever does. It's certainly possible that Valve might decide to release the Mac port once it becomes more developed and polished, a little bit like how Larian released Baldur's Gate 3's Mac port quite far after the official Windows release, or it's even possible that Valve have just completely dropped the Mac port entirely. Now this would definitely be very disappointing news, but it wouldn't be that surprising, especially considering Valve's previous history with Apple Mac devices. For example, Apple never updated Team Fortress 2 to work on 64-bit Macs, so you can't play Team Fortress 2 on any modern Mac hardware. And the original CSGO never ran very well on Apple Silicon Macs, since it was stuck on the OpenGL graphics API. You can even load it for the first time on Retina-based Macs without a workaround. If you want to find out more about Valve's history with Apple and why they don't support the Mac anymore, then make sure to click on the video in the corner here which tells you all about that history. However, it's still quite a surprising move because the Counter-Strike community is so huge. The game peaked at over 1.8 million concurrent players. And although the max share of the Steam player base is about 1.57%, still represents about 28,000 potential Mac players. So to just leave all of those people in the dust without a playable Mac port seems like a bit of a terrible move because there are plenty of Mac players who have invested thousands of hours into the game and even spent a additional money and now they have no way to play the game especially because the original CSGO is no longer available it's been replaced by Counter-Strike 2. So it looks like in one fell swoop Valve have basically cut off one of the Mac's most popular games of all time and it seems like there's no communication about when a potential Mac port if it ever comes out will be released. And on the other hand, a game like Dota 2 continues to get Mac support, I think purely because it is an extremely popular game. And I would have thought that CS2 would also get the same treatment. So I'm really expecting a Mac port of CS2 to come out in the near future. Fortunately, it's actually possible to play Counter-Strike 2 using Crossover. So this is using the Windows version of the game to run on Apple Silicon Mac hardware on Mac OS. If you want to find out how to do this, then make sure to click on the link at the top of the description for my tutorial on my second channel. There's also a 23% discount code which I'll leave a link to in the description which expires on the 17th of October so if you're interested in getting crossover or renewing it then make sure to use that link and that coupon code. Anyway I'd be really interested in hearing what you think about the current situation of Counter-Strike 2. Is Valve actually going to go ahead and make a Mac port or is it going to be left behind in the same way that Team Fortress 2 was left behind? Anyway I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.